Hello everyone, we all have used the wave. But what if I tell you the wave we use is only 4% of the total wave and it's called surface wave. While the remaining 96% is called deep wave and dark wave is the bottom most part of the deep wave. First of all, let's talk about the dark wave. The dark wave is the part of the world wide wave that is intentionally hidden and inaccessible through standard web browsers. One of the primary technologies used to access the dark wave is TOR, the onion router. TOR is a network that allows you to access the internet anonymously by bouncing their communication through a series of volunteer operator servers. The dark wave itself wasn't made by a specific person or group. Instead, it evolved over time as a natural consequence of the development of the internet. However, the concept of anonymity and privacy on the internet, which is essential for dark wave to exist, has been pursued by various individuals and groups over the years. One notable development was the creation of the Onion Router project by the US Navy in the mid-1990s. Now let's talk about how the dark wave works. In dark wave, you can stay hidden and access anything on the internet, buy or sell illegal things which you can't sell or buy in the surface wave. For this reason, dark wave is full of criminals and the best hackers in the world. Various illegal activities are conducted in dark wave such as drug trade, weapon sales, cyber crime services, human trafficking, hitmen for hire services, even selling human organs. One of the illegal activities conducted in the dark web is you can give hackers small amount of money and tell them to give someone's bank account details and your job is done. They will give you the details. In dark web, Bitcoin is used for trade because Bitcoin can't be traced and they can stay hidden and secure their identity. As you are my viewer, I want you to be safe from dark web. So you must secure your device, you must avoid suspicious links and downloads, you must use a secure network and avoid using public Wi-Fi, you must protect your personal information, you must avoid accessing the dark web and report suspicious activities. This much for today, I hope you liked the video and you can comment the improvements I can do. Thanks for watching.